able to, you know, correct anything I say about this matchup, um, as I am not too familiar with it. Lucas. This is Losers Round 5? Yeah, 5. Excellent. And Spirit Calamari. Excellent. Okay, now it's actually surprising these players are at like kind of this early on. I didn't expect it. Okay, now in this particular matchup, I think Calamari might might like the uh, Town and City pick. I'm not 100% on this though. But perhaps they're looking for a more even even a start. Like, oh, if they go to Lila, actually, that could be very, very bad for Ness. Um, Ness does not really have, like, the best recovery when it comes to, you know, tilting stages and such. He can bounce off the walls sometimes at wrong angles and not get his recovery back. As I do believe Ness only gets it back if he does actually bounce at a very specific angle and at a very specific range. Okay, now, I think I'd like to see Calamari playing this Shuriken game. Uh, not getting too mixed up in Ness's combo game. Making sure that he's not mashing buttons as well, as Ness does have a very good combo breaker in there. Ooh, Calamari is to punish that second air dodge, but Smash Bound positioned himself really, really well there. Good. Okay, now that's excellent. See, look. Now, do you see how Calamari opted to throw him off stage instead of throwing him upwards? This is really, really good because Ness is, Ness, when Ness is off stage, it's really, really sensible to getting gifts, as a lot of people know about that. Ooh. Oh, Smash Bomb going for the salves, I like that. That was actually really good. I thought he'd go for the down throw um, into the combo, but he actually got wet, like tried to go for like a really early kill there. So I don't think that was necessarily a bad idea. Now, I really would like to see more and more showing from Calamari. I think he's going in when he doesn't need to. He has the lead. He can just play it. He can play it with sure. He can play it with dash grabs and use the fact that Ness doesn't have much range. Yes, good punish. Right, and I'd like to see some pummels from Calamari as well, like, but even just one pummel to play is really, really good. Okay, now, at this point, if Calamari is able to maintain stage control, uh, Ness will take a lot of damage even to attempt to come back up, because Ness is off stage, and as I said, it's not very good. Excellent. See, Calamari is just playing it nice and safe, able to just grab on that percentage, just for um, Smash Bound being on stage. I would actually ask this, um, Era, do you know if um, Greninja has any kind of combo on that at the percentage that we kill, apart from that, does he have any faux combos or anything like that? Because, like, maybe he could go for something like that, I, again, I'm not sure. That was a good down smash there, that was able to punish any kind of, like, up option that Calamari would do, as it was roll and it's going to be Ooh, Smash Bomb actually messing up in his, um, his back throw there. I thought, ooh, come on Calamari with that. that, that okay, that was a really ultimate air dodge. All he had to do there in that situation was literally just back off and come up. Instead, said Calamari let him get that early. No, not, not, sorry, Smash Bomb let him get that, not earliest kill, but, you know, it was pretty good. Though. Okay, now, I think in this particular situation, um, yeah, yeah, he definitely, he definitely does. Yeah, that is, that is a good point. Taking Ness's double jump is really, really important in this matchup. Especially because uh, Smash Bound, well, Ness has a much easier time killing than Greninja does. Oh, okay, that's a shame. If he had any combos or throws, then it might make it a bit easier for him to kill. Because I feel like unless Smash Bound makes like a really big mistake, I don't think Calamari will kill him outside of games. I'm not sure about that forward air follow up there. Uh, forward, uh, sorry, that forward throw. Um, I actually think he would have gone down throw into forward air, and I think that would have been really good. Okay, now, uh, Greninja's up smash on that platform is really, really powerful, as it can cover almost all get up options if you do cover it correctly. But Calamari was a little bit off the spacing there. Okay, now, um, Greninja does have way bigger dish points than, um, what you than Ness does. So perhaps, I'd really like to maybe some fast full fair, maybe? Like, I'm, I'm not too sure, because fast full fair having is actually really strong against Ness, because Ness's out shield options are not that great, and they're literally really unspaced. I think I've seen about four shurikens from Calamari this game. 
Um, unless, you know, they've been a certain type of I'm looking, but I don't think it's who Shuriken Gen has been strong at all this game. Smash round attempt to win the air dodge there, I do like... There's that down smash again, punishing Calamari's constant rolls off the ledge. I think if Smash Bound had actually hit that PK Thunder, he would have killed Calamari there. Oh, and there's the up air, excellent. Well, that was really well played by both players. Uh, Calamari could have done more to chase Ness off stage. I feel like he wasn't really taking advantage of the fact that Ness couldn't recover properly. And instead he was letting him get back on for free. Like, the jabs at the ledge were really strong. That was good. He was keeping him on the ledge, which was strong. He wasn't capitalizing up. And Spider-Man was able to slowly claw, 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 like, claw, 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 claw back his, the win. Okay, now, from Greninja here, I really, really, really would like to see... Wait, is he going back to Battlefield? Let's see. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this actually because particularly on this stage, uh, Ness also like, they're both really kill up but is about the same. I think that uh, Calamari actually has better options for killing up, so I'm not quite sure why he'd go to Battlefield. He can't control the platforms as well as say like someone with like really really big disjoints, so, like continuous just to say like Mark or Lucina or even someone like Mario or Luigi who could just continuously abuse mobility. Yeah, see, I think Error is absolutely correct. I think that he let him get back on way too much, not abusing the fact that he was keeping him on the ledge. And whilst he'd go for the jabs, he wasn't going for that commitment. Because even if you don't manage to give Ness's recovery successfully and get hit by the PK missile, you can take the stage. And that's really, really still going to screw Ness over. If Ness is too far back, he's screwed anyway. You can't make it back, even if you don't manage to give him correctly. Okay. Excellent! That's exactly what I was looking for in game one. That really early kill, completely without rage, and now Calamari can hold this momentum this game with Oh, the SD from Calamari! What was that? Oh my god, that was so bad! I, I, maybe, I, maybe he was just trying to go down. Maybe he didn't hold down long enough, or maybe he inputted too early. Um, maybe Eric can explain why that happened, but that, that, that was really bad. <laughs> okay, Eric, Eric seems to know what's going on. Okay, so now at this point he does still have the he does still have the advantage. I would really really like to see uh, Calamari, you know, still making use of the Shuriken game, using it to abuse the fact that whenever Nesh tries to come down onto the ground, you can punish him for doing so because you can't ever trust the ground. He doesn't have anything to beat unless he nares, and if he nares, he'll still suffer some manual like anyway. Uh, we are commentating from Calamari's point of view because Calamari is on game two. <laughs> uh, so uh, Calamari lost game one, so I'd like to see this game for game three. As both of these players are actually like, you know, decent, and it is quite interesting to watch. Okay, so I would perhaps like to see uh, Smash Bounty control of this pattern here. Now, if he, because he went for that full hot nair, did you guys notice he didn't fast fall afterwards? Calamari could have done something to punish that, and instead he let him go away from it. That was... Oh, Calamari! Oh, the RB into the ledge. He had that. All he had to do was just go off that little bit further and he would have had that again. Well, that looks like it'll be Calamari advance, uh, advancing to the limo home. <laughs> and like a smash bound taking loser six. And yeah, it was decent. Oh, wait, wait, I get to